Hey everyone, Dr. Charlie Johnson here, physical therapist, and today we're going to talk about pinched nerves. Uh, this isn't just any pinched nerve, this is a pinched nerve specifically in the neck. Um, we're going to talk about two things. Number one, what is it? So what is a pinched nerve, and how do I know if I have it? So stay tuned, we're going to give you a self-test at the end of this video um, to determine if a pinched nerve is a likely cause of your symptoms. So question number one, what is it? Well, pinched nerve, just as the name implies, is just that. So it's a pinching or a compression or an irritation of the nerve wherever it may be along the path, in this case again, the neck. Um, so that's what a pinched nerve is and how do I know if I have it? Well, people with pinched nerves have symptoms often in the neck, um, but they also have symptoms or pain or burning in the shoulder blade um, and they have symptoms that travel down the arm and sometimes even into the hand. How do people describe these symptoms? They'll say, ouch, I have pain or, oh, I have numbness, I have tingling, I have burning, I have shooting, or even just feelings of, I don't know what it is, it just feels weird, okay? Um, another common report is, it's a deep ache, okay? So that's what a pinched nerve feels like, and that's what a pinched nerve is. Um, and down the bottom here, I have a really rough example of it, let's call it a traffic pattern. So if you watch the morning news, uh, you see somebody bring up the traffic patterns in the morning, you hope everything's green, right? Ready to go, green light. Um, going to make it to where you got to go from point A to point B on time. Well, often that's not the case as we know. So let's just say there's five lanes on a highway. Well, what we have to understand, big picture here guys, is that nerves are exactly like highways. Just as a highway has say six, seven lanes if you're in LA, um, maybe that's, maybe you've never seen a highway like that, but out here they have a ton of, high, uh, ton of lanes on the highway. Um, you know, sometimes maybe some of those, those lanes aren't open, okay? Um, and just like a highway has all these, these lanes for people to travel down, nerves have lanes for information to travel down. And this information is feeling and movement. So nerves transfer feeling and movement um, down their lanes, so to speak. So if we have a highway here and we have an accident on lane one and two, well, everything's green and then everything afterwards is red. You all have seen this before. Lane three, four, and five, good to go. We're going to use them to get to work. So just to reiterate, nerves are exactly like highways, and I want you guys to think of them like that because it will help you understand what's going on. So if I have a highway that runs from the head, yeah, that's a head, and all the way down to the hand, well, you can see everything's green, everything's golden, good to go, and then you have a pinched nerve at the neck, oh, and everything afterwards, all the information that's trying to get down that nerve is red, okay, because it can't, it can't pass the compression or the irritation, okay, so... Then people will say, um, ouch, I have pain, numbness, tingling, burning, shooting, whatever it may be, wherever that accident has occurred along the nerve. So keeping those things in mind, we can zoom into the hand and actually determine which nerve or which lane is closed um, you know, on the highway, so to speak. So I have some fancy terms here, C6, C7, C8. First things first, there are eight nerves in the neck that contribute to feeling and movement within the arm itself, okay? The biggest ones are C6, C7, C8, and they're termed like that because the C stands for cervical, which means the, the spine in the neck, okay? And all it means is, uh, and, and C6 is a short term for the sixth cervical nerve. So C6 is a sixth cervical nerve or the sixth nerve in the neck. Seventh nerve in the neck, eighth nerve in the neck. Now, if there's an accident on C6, okay, or there's a compression, a pinched nerve um, of the C6 nerve root, well, people are going to say, ow, oh, I have pain, numbness, tingling, burning, shooting in the thumb and the index finger. C7 pinched nerve, people will have pain, numbness, tingling, whatever it may be, in the middle finger. And C8, although it's very uncommon, people will have um, all those same complaints in the ring finger and the pinky finger. So that being said, hopefully this helps you determine not only what a pinched nerve is, but also where it may be coming from and where you're having an accident along those highways. So um, stay tuned. We're going to give you a self-test here. And next time we're actually going to give you 3.5 day-to-day strategies to help you feel a little bit better. Thanks, everyone.